born in old glory. There's building supplies for the next building to come up. Uh, that was the plan. That was the plan to put in the next building. But a lot of you guys have been putting out a lot of comments and it is absolutely fantastic how many comments we're getting on videos so I can look through them and I can go through them. I finally got some time to where I just went through all the comments and then got some ideas from it. Now, what I've got from it is we need a gosh dang pond. Everybody's like, build a pond. Come on, squad, build a pond. So what we're going to do is build a pond. I feel like I haven't been challenging on this build specifically, and it just hasn't turned out great. We need to keep working. We need to keep getting better. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm renting a dozer from Case Dealership over there. They have some little construction equipment. So I worked out a deal. We're going to rent a dozer with them. I probably need an excavator, but we'll see what the dozer can do. You really should have an excavator if you're building a pond. Now, what I'm going to do with these buildings is, I know this is kind of unrealistic, but we're going to, we're going to lift them up. I'm going to get a lot of Amish people to lift them up, and we're just going to scooch them back over there. Now, the only reason I say Amish people is because I, 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 I didn't even watch the video. I just saw like a little headline where it was like 3,000 Amish people lift up building and move it. And I was like, holy crap, dude, the Amish are crazy. That's awesome. But uh, now we're going we're gonna to move these buildings just back further and then put a giant pond in right here. And then I'm thinking, I, I kind of just thought of this like right before I started recording, put the RCC sign with the rock in the middle of the pond. And then maybe some some other rocks around the pond too, where we'll have trucks like kind of out on the pond. I think that'll be good. A lot of people say this is just too congested right in the front. We need to get rid of this. So first things first, let's go pick up that dozer. By the way, if you guys enjoy the build, if you enjoyed the, did I just say build? If you enjoyed the, the build and the video, uh, feel free to smash that like button. It really helps out the video and I appreciate it. Every one of you guys that do, uh, it's awesome. Even if you're watching, man. Thanks for watching. Seriously, I don't say it enough. So another comment I saw was a guy, and I totally understand. I, I don't want to just f make fun of people or just reply back to them. But one guy just made a comment. And it was uh, he was like, "Squad, you need to get rid of you need to get rid of that corn, man. No deal car dealerships have corn around." I'm like, "Have you been to Iowa, brother? Have you been to Iowa?" But uh, but he's got a point, especially if you have a nice if you have a nice truck dealership or car dealership. Most likely that dealership's going to try to get rid of that corn or at least put some grass in between the corn and that dealership. So we're going to have to do something about the corn. I'm probably going to put a grass or like a, a crazy track out there. But we got about 20 minute drive uh, to the dealership and I'll see you guys once we get there. Here we are. Now this is it. Okay, so this is a case dealership, but they have some construction equipment over here, specifically this D8 that we're going to rent. I was asking about some scrapers and I thought, hey, it might not be a bad idea to have some scrapers. But I figured for now, we'll just go D8. If we need scrapers, we'll come back for a scraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paperwork, you got my deposit, right? Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, man. Okay, so they weren't uh, they weren't too sure about my choice of trailer. But it's my trailer. If I wreck it, I wreck it. Now, I wouldn't recommend loading a cat D8 on this trailer. I think usually you'd want a low boy. But we're just going down the road like 20 minutes. We're not hauling across country. So... I'm gonna try it, you know, it's gonna be a little tough on the trailer here, but basically I just wanna hold a lot of the weight over the rear wheels here and just with a little bit on the semi. This is, I don't know, it's a little crazy. So I'm gonna jump in the D8, start her up, and then we're gonna get her loaded. I'm gonna let her warm up. Now I'm looking, is there any place where it would be like some type of ramp to load this thing up? Cause I think what I'm gonna do now, oh, is. <laughs> Every video, dude, I pull out a chainsaw. But I think what I'm gonna do now is just drive the drive the cat up there, and then kind of put the blade down and just kind of shove my way up there. But I feel like the blade's gonna get caught. And it's gonna be a little mess. We're gonna do our best not to screw up this trailer too much. It's my trailer, but I really don't want to damage this thing too much. Holy crap! This thing is a little bigger than I expected. My gosh, he's got a Red Bull. I wonder what vending machine he got that from. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. Just kind of put down pressure. Slowly go up. Okay, so we're up to the back of the trailer. I got my parking brake on, but this dozer doesn't care about any parking brake. She, she's, she's just going to blast through the parking brake. So I got to be careful not to do that. There we go. Front end is up. Now the question is, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to tear up through cement with my back blade. I got it as high as possible. Okay, let's... Try to bounce out some of this weight. Keep going. Come on. 
my gosh, this is horrible. Here we go. Lift the blade a bit. And boom. She comes crashing down. Okay. Keep scooching the weight up. I think that's all we need. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Now, we may... Honestly, we may want to scooch it back a little bit. The weight... Most of the weight of this dozer should be right there. So... It's tough to say. It's tough to say. I think I got it centered pretty good. We're going to go back, bring the dozer, start building that pond. Oh, she is pretty heavy. You can feel the Kenworth, man. He's dogging just a little bit. Okay, we're going to wait for this car to pass, and we're going to make the move without taking out this mailbox. Swing wide, brother. I didn't know this, but this strap at least... This strap, the ripper, is actually strappable. The dozer itself isn't, but the ripper is. But that'll keep the dozer on here. Yo, calm it. Hey! It's RCC. Yeah, you know me. Oh, shoot. The question is, can you turn in here with a semi? Is the dozer even going to fit through here? There we go. Nice. Okay, and that's one thing we gotta do yet, is build a semi-entrance. Because there's no way semis uh, are gonna be coming in and out through there. Especially those swift drivers. And this strap held this 60,000 pound machine well. Okay, fire her up, back her off the trailer, let's get to work. Okay, here's where she gets sketchy. Here's the tipping point. Oh shoot. We did not play that one well. There we go. Slide her off just a bit. Perfect. Okay, so time to move these. Uh, move all of these boards because these buildings are going back here. And then get building this pond. Okay, so I'm still in the process of building this, but I got a couple ideas. I want to really fill this, fill this, uh, fill this pond with crawlers. So what I'm gonna do is get the old Bronco, even though I think it looks sweet here. Maybe we could have another one. Fire her up and then put her out like, like almost on the side, kind of like it's trying to crawl up the side and it, like it went through the water. I think that'd be kind of cool. Holy crap! <laughs> I could easily back off there, but heck, we're going over it. Oh shoot. Come on, baby. Rocker. Okay, backwards. I think we just need a little more speed. Oh, come on. Come on, rocker. There we go. So, the question is how deep is this? I think I know. She's pretty deep. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> okay, so in reality, reality, I shouldn't tell you guys this, but I mean, the pond looks, it's tough to make a pond really deep. I had kind of an opportunity to do it, but I didn't really make it that deep. So one thing I could do is kind of, even though it looks deep, looks is all that matters for this, at least. But um, I could put like cars and stuff in here. I don't know. It kind of like lose the emphasis of a pond though. I kind of, holy crap, dude. How is this even? We're breaking physics. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's because there's actually a collision there. That's right. That's right. Okay, so what I would like is to act like this is climbing the sign. So, right here, 
I'm just gonna go sh oh wrong way oh dude if I could just hold it there pretty cool or no should I get one on the other side and do that holy crap it just looks kind of messed up right there to be honest I think I need one more I think I need one more on that side there we go I'd say that's pretty cool. Now, there's a collision in the front. I kind of want it out more front, but I can't get it there. That's where the middle of the pond, in it, pond is, and there's actually a collision in the middle of the pond. I think that looks pretty sweet. Now, the question is, what do we do with this space out front here? Maybe this will be our truck lot, just right out front here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, so the pond is officially in. Now, I've done some work. I've added I've added a kind of a, a, a nice tiled pathway around the pond because I figure, you know, people stop in, they just want to look. So instead of like having to walk out to your car, especially if we have like vehicles or campers or whatever it is over here, uh, they can drive around. And at the same time, they can drive around the pond and kind of get up close by some of these trucks as they drive past them and stuff. So I thought this uh, this tile, tile idea, I didn't think it was going to work. And then I looked at it, and from above, man, it looks pretty good. And from down below, I like it. So this area right here, don't know what's going to happen yet. I made a little semi-drive-in right now that will lead to dirt. And I think I kind of want to keep it dirt back there just to kind of keep everything a little more, you know, Realistic I guess instead of having cement completely everywhere Now, the one thing I still don't know what's gonna happen is with uh, Is with trees. I just don't know where to put them. I haven't got the right trees yet. And it's just uh, Man once we get trees in here, and then what the heck is gonna happen back here? We just have this giant open space back here where I got I gotta do something, you know So I have no idea what's gonna happen back there. I've been kind of messing around lately I, uh, I went and picked up a Cummins and then also ordered the new 2020 F-250 King Ranch with a 7.3 liter gas engine. I know you guys are probably like, dude, how come you didn't get the diesel? I know, I know, I know. Uh, we'll probably end up selling this truck. I'm just going to daily drive it for a little bit around and I know it's only the gasser, but I wanted to see how this new 7.3 performs. Now, I, a lot of you guys are like... First of all, a lot of you guys are probably like, man, why isn't the Cummins pulling this? Because the Cummins definitely has a lot more power, and it's it definitely can pull a lot more weight than this F-250. It's just, it's just built for it, right? But I just want to test out the F-250 with the new gas engine. But I do got to say, Chandler just finally finished. I shouldn't say finally. Uh, he had he had a couple issues along the way, people stealing his stuff. But he just finally finished, or he just finished making this. And my gosh, this thing, this thing may be one of the best mods in Farm Sim. In my opinion, one of the best truck mods you can download right now. Not just because it's Ford, but because it has F-250, F-350, F-450. You can get a topper on it. You can get a gooseneck. Um, check this out. Like, there's so many different... Oh, fold the mirrors. Boom. I know a lot of different mods have had this too. And he just, you know... Uh, but, interior, Kane Ranch. You can get Larry too. Super Duty. Everything is perfect on it. My gosh, dude. This is awesome. And then I think he did make it off of Rory, Rory Custom, so I got to give him a shout out too. But man, this looks beautiful. And then it's only in long bed, which does, I used to not be a fan of long beds. But man, they look pretty good. Now it says flex fuel here. And 
uh, the one thing I gotta give Chandler just a little, little crap for. I know the guy, so I, I, I don't mean to ever give anybody crap, but it's just uh, he does have the dual exhaust on it. Other than that, and I'm sure he has a reason for that, uh, for sure. He has the, not dual exhaust, but the uh, the diesel exhaust on there that would come with the 6.7. That's the one thing he might have mixed, missed, and I can guarantee you he didn't miss it. I can guarantee you there's a reason why he didn't put the gas on. He might have had an issue, or maybe he didn't have the part. Uh, so fantastic absolutely fantastic job 100 percent greatness right here this is fantastic check out and even check out these sounds on this thing okay it's got that little rumble the only thing with the sounds is maybe just when you're going kind of fast at top speed it'd be nice to hear more of that v8 and that 7.3 liter it does it does Barely, just barely, you can kind of get a hint of like a diesel or like a power stroke out of these sounds. But maybe this is how the 73 sounds, and I'm wrong. And by all means, man, I am just being way too hard on these guys. Uh, but this sounds fantastic. I'm critiquing the stupidest stuff that doesn't even matter, just so you know. So this is perfect. I don't mean to be hard on these guys. Because this is, I, I just can't get how amazing this is. She's perfect. Holy crap. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're not gonna pull in that entrance. We're gonna pull in the truck entrance. And I'm probably gonna put this, I'll probably put this truck out, just like out in front somewhere here. Got my blinker. And you know what? You can even hit the blinker. Oh wait, nope, that's wipers. Never mind. I should know that actually. But, uh, so I'm gonna pull on back here. And then we will unload the Dodge. Man, it's almost like that dozer didn't even move when we built the pond. Listen, you can hear that rumble. Just the idle sound of the 7.3. <sighs> that sounds awesome. Okay, we're gonna jump in the Cummins. She's got a 5.9er. I know, it's a swap, but check out these sounds on this. <laughs> uh, I gotta give a big out shout out to James. James is the dude that is a sound master and always puts crazy sounds in this truck. And I think even, uh, even, uh, Chandler, known as Buck, when he made when he made this F-250 up here and need gas engine sounds, he got it from James. James is a hookup. Check this out. Oh, that sounds awesome. Okay, uh, Dodge. You know what? Let's put it out here next to this. Yeah. I need another Dodge to put there, dude. We should. Put, oh, you know what? We should put every generation here. That'd be kind of cool because I do have a first gen. Yeah, let's do that. I need, I need them to be dualies though. We may skip a generation. Oh, sounds awesome. Okay. So we got, I think this is fifth gen. This is fourth gen, if I'm correct. Now a third gen would be that, that I think. And then a second gen is, I don't know, like your classic 12 valve. I do have one that I could get and put right here. That'd be kind of cool. I'll have to show you guys what I got out front. But for now, I'm going to put the big text back here. And then go park the Ford out front. Just find a place for it. We, got a, we kind of got all ranges of different trucks right now. I was thinking about keeping this all just brand new. Having a brand new lot. Brand new-ish lot. Like in the past two years. And then having kind of an old classic lot. And that's something we should definitely consider. As you can see, tailgate goes down. Got her unhooked. And then we'll pull forward. I used to think long long bed trucks were so ugly. For some reason, I had that thought that long bed trucks were so ugly. Uh, but man, on like heavy duty trucks, long beds, I think they're better than short beds now. They look pretty, honestly, I like them better. Okay, <laughs> I think this is FX4. We should be able to climb this, right? Oh my gosh. If we had the tremor, we would have been able to make it. There we go. That's pretty sweet. We do need more Chevys around here. I'm gonna admit, I am a little low on Chevys. We got that Chevy back there, which is a good spot there. It does look pretty darn good there. That looks pretty sweet. But then we got, uh, I guess it's not in order, but we have fifth gen, fourth gen, third gen, second gen Dodge, and then the first gen, which we gotta get still. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. <laughs> We're still in the building process. Next episode is gonna be another building on it or not i don't know if a building is going to come up or what but we need to, we for sure need something back there we need to figure out what's going to go here and uh that's it yeah 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.